Good morning. This is SJ336, St. John336. I'm Stephanie Jeanette, and this is the video presentation of my book, A Daily Devotional. We are on day 61, and the scriptural references for today for suggested study are Revelation 5 8, Revelation chapter 5, verse 8, Philippians 4 18. The book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 18, Isaiah 3:24, the book of Isaiah chapter 3 verse 24, 1 Corinthians 12:17, the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 17, Genesis 8 verses 20 to 22, the book of Genesis chapter 8 verses 20 and uh, 20 through 22. And second Samuel chapter 10 verse 6 2nd Samuel chapter 10 verse 6 I will read them from the King James Version and then the English Standard Version Revelation 5 8 King James and when he had taken the book the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the lamb having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors which are the prayers of the saints English Standard Version, Revelation 5, 8. And when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb, each holding a harp and golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. Philippians 4, 18. But I have all in the bound. I am full, having received of Epaphroditus, Epaphroditus, sorry, the things which were sent from you, in odor of a sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable, well pleasing to God. Philippians 4:18, in English Standard Version this time. I have received full payment and more. I am well supplied having received from Epaphroditus the gifts you sent, a fragrant offering, a sacrifice acceptable and pleasing to God. Isaiah 3.24 King James And it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell there shall be stink, and instead of a girdle a rent, and instead of well set hair baldness, and instead of it's a stomacher, a girding of sackcloth, and burning instead of beauty. And now for the English Standard Version, Isaiah 3.24. Instead of perfume, there will be rottenness, and instead of a belt, a rope, and instead of well set hair, baldness, and instead of a rich robe, a skirt of sackcloth, and branding instead of beauty. First Corinthians twelve seventeen, reading from the King James Version first. First Corinthians twelve seventeen. If the whole body were an eye, where were the hearing? If the whole were hearing, where were the smelling? First Corinthians twelve seventeen, English Standard Version. If the whole body were an eye, where would be the sense of hearing? If the whole body were an ear, where would be the sense of smell? Genesis eight twenty. Reading from the King James first. Verse. 
And Noah built an altar unto the Lord, and took of every clean beast, and of every clean fowl, and offered burnt offerings on the altar. And the Lord smelled a sweet savor, and the Lord said in his heart, I will not again curse the ground any more for man's sake, for the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I again smite any more everything living as I have done. While the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest, and cold and heat, and summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease. Genesis 8, Genesis chapter 8 verses 20 through 22. That was King James Version, and now I'm reading from the English Standard Version. Then Noah built an altar to the Lord, and took some of every clean animal, and some of every clean bird, and offered burnt offerings on the altar. And when the Lord smelled the pleasing aroma, the Lord said in his heart, I will never again curse the ground because of man, for the intention of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I ever again strike down every living creature as I have done. While the earth remains, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night shall not cease. And the last one, Second Samuel 10.6. Second Samuel chapter 10 verse 6. And when the children of Ammon saw that they stank before David, the children of Ammon sent and hired the Syrians of Bethrahab and the Syrians of Zobah, 20,000 footmen, and of the king Maka, and of king Maka, a thousand men, and of Ishtob, 12,000 men. Second Samuel. Once you know the history of the Israelites, God's chosen people, his elect to demonstrate his relationship with people. Um, what the Israelites experienced historically, we experience spiritually. Those who believe in Christ. And so once you know the history, it's easier to to recognize where the books of the word are. Um, you had your your leaders, you know, Joel, Ruth. Um, you had your designated kings per the Israelites' request. They wanted an earth king, you know. She had your prophets, yes. Saul, you got Samuel. This is not book of Saul, but you know where he appears, you know. And they go from the judges to the kings. And you have your, the kings. And then you have the historical rec the historical records, first and second chronicles. Um you got your prop some prophets, prophets, prophetess, Ezra. Esther, Nehemiah, or it's actually Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther. Um, but you, you'll, you'll discover a way to help you memorize um, the books and where they are in relation to one another as, pre as presented in the Holy Bible. Some of you will have experienced, excuse me, some of you will have experienced, you know, formal kind of Bible study education growing up, maybe in a Catholic school or some other school. They have a different canonized Bible. Um, but for those of us who were not necessarily raised in the church um, or vacation by the school visitations, you kind of develop, you could you develop a way to memorize, you know, if you don't know those common ways. Alright, so the last one, Second Samuel chapter 10, verse 6. Second Samuel chapter 10, verse 6. And you may recall this when I suggested the names, understanding names and historical significance and spiritual significance of names um, in an earlier 
day and early entry where I discuss um, not growing weary and well-doing and how David, King David had been blessing folk and then um, some got jealous and uh, caused ruckus and that was just before his fall with Bathsheba. All right, so Second Samuel 10 verse 6. When the Ammonites saw that they had become a stench to David, the Ammonites sent the hired the Ammonites sent and hired the Syrians of Bethrahab and the Syrians of Zobah, twenty thousand foot soldiers, and the king of Makkah with one thousand men, and the men of Tob, twelve thousand men. And now for the entry itself. This is again day sixty one. Oh, Sorry, the um, suggested praise and worship is Bless the Lord Medley by West Angeles Mass Choir. YouTube upload dated the 10th of October, 2008. October 10th, 2008, YouTube upload dated, uh, and it is called Bless the Lord Medley, West Angeles Mass Choir. Okay, so now day 61. Stop. Take a deep breath. What's it smell like where you are right now? Good smells? Something cooking on your stove or in your oven? Someone nearby with a pleasantly recognizable perfume? Or perhaps a scent you like but haven't smelled of before and you're trying to wait for the best moment to ask about it? A distinct mark of many bondages are certain smells, as exhibited when the foul spirit exits. Certain activities have their own smell. Some of us will have the spiritual gift of discernment, and our Lord will allow us to smell these scents that others may not be aware of. When this happens, it helps us to know what to pray for specifically for that person. Poverty has a smell. It's damp, dank, and pungent, and can give you a headache. It can come from lack of regular access to water, both to drink or to bathe in, farting to keep warm, because of an un uncontrolled diet of handouts, an illness that disallows control of body functions, walking about a lot and, and thereby building up sweat underneath layers of clothing, and from being amongst fellow destitute persons, etc. I remember praying about foul odors once and then not smelling them. I realize that such smells serve to warn against things not behooving to King living, at minimum. So when I smell, when I pray those smells away, I lost the sensibilities to the smells that were, you know, a warning. So I began to try to simply apply the discipline of rejoicing always, regardless of what the smells were around me. The word teaches us that the praise of our God and the prayers of the saints are a sweet smelling savor. Can you imagine being Christ Jesus and smelling all of the sin going on around him? I would imagine that he turned off his sense dash ability, S C E N T S dash ability. And for the intercessory prayer, dear Father God in heaven, please help us to desire to lend favorably to our atmosphere. But yes, Lord, how will, how will we know that we open our hearts unto you to teach us your way? We also pray today, sweet yea and amen, that you visit all newborns, whispering into their ears reiterations of their God Almighty design purpose on earth and purposes on earth, while they can still hear with their hearts and minds the voice of God. We also pray, dear captain of our souls, for the Gambians. Bless them with miraculous and glorious breakthroughs regarding water and infrastructure. In Christ Jesus' holy and precious name we do pray. Amen. Have an excellent day.